What's going on everybody? It's your boy Z. I'm back with more Shallon Shuffle main Easter egg talk. Now I'm going to do the last few steps on one video because they're pretty quick and straightforward. So basically after you get the Rat King's brain, you're going to go over to talk to Pam. Three rounds are going to go by and your screen's going to go blank and your game's going to kind of act like it crashes. It's basically a troll, but get ready. As soon as this happens, you're instantly going to be spawned into this area that you cannot leave. There's going to be fire all around you and that fire will instantly kill you so just have your guns ready just be ready because it's going to throw you in the action I was instantly spawned with just zombies all around me so <laughs> you're going to make sure you have your guns ready and you're just going to kill zombies now there's not that many there's like 10 zombies you have to kill it's really not that bad once you kill them it's going to drop a turnstile and you're just going to take that turnstile over to Subway 1. You're going to place it in the missing turn piece. And then you're going to get an achievement, which is really nice. So once you do that, you're going to go to the alleyway near Mule Munchies. There's going to be this ladder you have to climb up. Go over, make your way over to this window right here. There's going to be a new symbol in this window. And you're just going to shoot it. This symbol will always be here, thank God. So you guys don't have to do any more searching. Just go over to this window, shoot this symbol, and you'll be all set to go. So as soon as you shoot the window, yellow circles are going to appear around the map. So your first one, it seems like the first one's always right there in the alleyway below the symbol. And then the other five for me, literally all, it was four or five, were out behind, back by like dew drops. They just kept spawning back by dew drop, dew, bleh. They just kept spawning back by dead eye dew drops. So yeah, just look for the circles. They're all around the map. They're giant yellow circles. You have to do six of them. They're really not that hard. You only have to kill maybe six or seven, eight zombies inside of them. It's not that bad. And then you will be ready for your next step. Once you move on from the circles, you will go over to Disco Inferno. Go up to the uh, the DJ table and press your action button and a disco ball is going to drop down. And what you're going to do is have a zombie underneath the disco ball and the zombie's going to start dancing. So at this point, you have to basically kill a zombie. You have to kill that zombie that is dancing while another zombie is on the dance floor. I really recommend you get to this part before round 25 because you're going to have to deal with the ninja zombies and that's what killed me were the ninja zombies trying to run a train in this tiny little area and dealing with the ninja zombies is literally basically freaking impossible so try to get it done before round 25 guys I'm telling you it is insanely hard and so yeah basically you just kill the zombie I for some reason my upgraded Kindle would not kill the zombie that was dancing under the disco ball I have no idea why maybe I was just missing horribly but I had to use a regular gun to shoot it so that's just a little bit of tip for you guys and everybody else that I've seen do it is they use regular guns too they weren't using their Kindles so I don't know if it's immune to explosive damage or not but um so after you do that a rat king symbol is going to uh, spawn outside the uh, disco inferno area and you're gonna activate it and you're gonna start the rat king fight now I do not have this footage but that's just a little tidbit for the next step um, basically this fight is just like the other two fights you're gonna kill him you're going to go ahead and you're going to take his heart and then one last time you have to go talk to Pam and then the next time you enter the Rat King's Lair will be the final boss fight. So like I said I died on the disco ball step so and I won't be able to get back to this until Friday or Saturday unfortunately. So I wanted to bring it to you guys so you guys know how to do it but I will be bringing you the last few steps in a couple of days like I said when I get around to it so I apologize for that guys I literally dropped the ball I played for 10 hours straight today <laughs> finally got to the last step and died you have no idea how heartbroken I was but I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and like I said I will be back this weekend with more tutorials maybe sooner than that I don't know but probably definitely by the end of this weekend so as always I really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you're new to our channel feel free to leave a like subscribe and thank you for watching I am the one and only Z bye bye